Today I'm going to try out the afterburner that I designed it to see if I can melt some copper from a pot of steel. Well, let's see how this afterburner works in this version. You can see when I light it that the flame is quite unstable but looks nice. My only way to test how good my burner is, is to use it, and that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use a color chart to analyze the temperature of the steel. You're going to see that it looks hot, but I'm not reaching high enough to melt copper. I'm only reaching about 1300 Fahrenheit, and that's what. I realized that I have to make some changes to the burn chamber, so I let this burn a while and then I need to redesigning the burn chamber and uh, adding a small tube at the front and hopefully getting a better burn at a higher temperature. You can see it's hot, but it's hot enough. I can melt aluminium with this, but I want to melt copper, that's my goal. So, let's work on that. So here you can see the changes I made to the burn chamber and the oil burner. I got a better flame. More intense, more heat, and more stable. This little change of the burn chamber redesigned the personality of the burner and uh, as you can see as I fire it up it's impressive it's roaring and it's hot I'm running this uh, updated model now in my forge and uh, 100 psi with oil waste oil veggie waste oil and i let it burn and i have to try the personality if i use too much fuel or too less so experimental time is fun also dangerous but it works so let's push it to the max full power 100 psi full fuel you can see how nice this fire tornado is living inside the forge when it burns it's a beauty and this can make a big difference so let it burn and let it flame on just a heads up when you test things it can go wrong you think you're having fun you have it under control and if you for one second relax you're done and uh, I learned the hard way today and it ended luckily but unluckily so that's it next time better video better update thanks for watching subscribe leave a comment have fun be safe bye